I was arrested twice uh, before I got my green card, and I disclosed both the arrest, obviously, to the immigration officer when I went for my green card. This okay. is a green card through marriage. Mm-hmm. Now I'm actually getting ready to file for my citizenship, and I've been clean up ever since. What were the arrests for? The first one was for DUI, mm-hmm. but the case was dismissed. The BAC was below 0.08. Mm-hmm. This happened in 2011. Right. The other one was basically uh, shoplifting for $30, you're fine. You're fine. but the case was dismissed you're f- because you're I had fine. no intention okay. to steal it. You disclosed it. They're two minor offenses. They were both dismissed. You can file your citizenship. You need three years good moral character being married to a U.S. citizen. These arrests happened more than three years ago, obviously. When you do your citizenship, one of the questions is, have you been arrested? You say yes. Here's the dispositions. You got to go through all that rigmarole again, but you'll be fine. You'll become a citizen. They can't deny citizenship, or can they? Nope. Nope. They can't say good moral character. I mean, you lack good moral character or, you know. Nope. Going, nope. You got they good, can't go beyond you, three years? They can't go beyond three years unless you have another arrest. Okay, so I should be fine. I mean, you I just show them not, the disposition not, not again. Not fine. You will be fine. Okay, and then obviously if, if I hire you and you guys come with me to the interview and the immigration officer is asking questions related to the arrest, that's when the attorney interjects. And you have to, on a citizenship interview, you have to testify to all the facts of what happened. Okay. If the immigration officer then says, hmm, I wonder if you have a good moral character, that's when your lawyer says, wait a second, it's three years, this happened more than three years ago, he disclosed it, blah, 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 and the lawyer goes and does what he needs to do or she needs to do. Okay. All right, hold on one second.